which is my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Wow, that does sound rough, doesn't it, Petra? Yeah, it does. Too bad you won't let us help, though. Hey, I guess we should just leave. Now, hang on a second. That sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me. And gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh, yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard. But I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin's... Mm -mm. Ah, oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't blow a gasket. That's awesome, Nerm. Welcome aboard. Woohoo! He says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port... Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the Firework Union. Understandable. Radar! Navigate from Boomtown ah, Sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends and a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. I am very nervous about this. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. If <sighs> you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say, I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here.
Swordbreaker. Nice classic name, awesome modern look. I think that one might just be my favorite. Seriously. Yeah, that one? Okay, I admit it, Jack. You were right. That's the best one. What can I say? Innate sartorial sense. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Aww. Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize. For all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah. It really is big of me, isn't it? Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm, it's an awesome name. enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move. It's the best. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, can I come too? Oh, yeah, of course. I just assumed you'd be busy, like, running Beacon Town. But, yeah, more the merrier. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Mm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Well, that sounds like a load of junk. Glad we agree. But just remember, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, Perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? Knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Hombar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Thank you. 